Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to yet another tutorial at Programming Knowledge. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about a, a new problem that is buy and sell stock. So I would give you a hint how we can do this problem. Uh, you can first uh, go through this example that is buy and sell stock. Uh, you can read these lines. I'll give you a second. Uh, I hope you, you must have under, understood this test case that uh, this is a problem of buy and sell stock. Like uh, we have a description in the test case and what we can do like uh, we have an example test case in which an uh, array has the representation of the prices. Like all the numerical values in this array are the prices of a, give, uh, of a stock for a given day. So what you need to do, you need to find a uh, a condition where you can buy a stock in the day and then sell the stock in the uh, any other day but uh, you need to make a maximum profit okay so how you can do that uh, we have many approaches to solve this problem first is a, a brute force approach and then another one is a, uh, a efficient approach uh, that can be done so uh, I'll show you how you can approach this problem uh, like uh, uh, these are the like uh, I'll just give you a quick overview like array has a prices of a stock on a given day then I array has a price of a stock on a given day then uh, uh, you need to sell uh, first you need to buy first buy and then and second sell so you need to uh, check the flow that first you need to buy first you can buy and in the second you can sell so uh, that means that you need to you need to buy the stock before selling that sounds pretty much obvious but uh, just to take care of the condition that I'm specifying this that you need to buy the stock before selling and in this case what you do you buy on the day when price is equal to 1 okay and then you sell on the day when price is equal to 6 so you get the optimal uh, solution that the profit is equal to sell minus buy is equal to 5 so let's solve this problem using the brute force approach so I can copy this test cases and I'll copy this as well. Uh, I'll put it, this in, a, in the comments. That array is equal to prices over stock on, on a given day. And first you need to buy, then second sell. Then you need to buy the stock before selling. And you need to get max profit out of this. And this is our test case. I'll just put the test case here. Test case is equal to this. Yeah. So this is our test case. Let's move with the problem. So let's move with the code. Uh, we have a test case and I'll, I'll define a solve function uh, which takes test case as a parameter. But first I'll uh, solve this using time complexity of O of n square. That's the brute force solution. So I'll add uh, uh, brute force brute force solution and second one I'm going to solve a uh, optimal way and I'll take a test case as a parameter and here the time complexity I'll reduce this time complexity to O of n okay now what you can do uh, what you can do uh, uh, like in the this solution brute force solution what we can do n is equal to uh, suppose this is a uh, array we are taking it as a array so let's uh, assume the both of them are array and n is equal to len of a for i in range n for j j in range n uh, what you can do you can first loop uh, we can uh, loop uh, when you need to 
uh, buy the stock then you can look for sell the stock but you need to uh, see that you need to buy the stock before selling or you can in the other way uh, also say that uh, you uh, you need to uh, like you need to buy the stock before selling or you can only sell the stock after buying it so for uh, selling one you need to do this as i plus 1 come on perfectly fine because uh, you can uh, like if this is for buy this for loop is for buy then this for loop is for sell then you can only sell after buying it perfectly fine you can only sell after buying it then uh, like that's why I did i plus 1 because you can only the sell after buying it then if if a of j is greater than a of i then uh, I'll have a max profit here as 0 max profit is equal to 0 then max profit is equal to max of max profit comma a of j minus a of i and then what we can do we can uh, simply when we end our iteration we can do print max profit so let's i hope this question is clear and i'll uh, run this test case brute force of test case and i'll run this yeah i get the answer as 5 but i have an optimal way of solving this question let's see what is the optimal way we can uh, solve this question in o of n approach uh, again n is equal to n a perfectly fine then max profit is equal to 0 and I will take a min price is equal to float of infinite uh, uh, I'll I'll tell you while I'm maintaining a minimum price then what you can do for I in range and uh, you will take a minimum price is equal to float uh, sorry for a minimum price is equal to minimum of minimum price uh, minimum price comma a of i uh, this is to maintain to maintain min price and i'll take another uh, a variable max profit is equal to max of max profit comma uh, since you know that uh, you have already got the min price now what you can do you can subtract this value a of i minus min price to maintain to maintain max profit and then in the end what you can do you can come up with a print statement print max profit so i'll just uh, run this uh, test case optimal of test case yeah so in the both the solution i get 5 as the answer so i just want to tell you that th uh, this is the correct approach but i'll just give you a quick overview how uh, i went through this approach like see what i'll do i'll maintain a variable min price which will keep a track to maintain the minimum price to maintain the minimum price is simple first initialize the min, min price as infinite value as just a normal variable we keep keep doing to maintain a minimum price then minimum price is equal to minimum Min price minimum minimum of minimum minimum min price and a of i. Uh, this is used to maintain the min price. So min price comma a of i would give us the minimum price. Then max profit is equal to max of maximum profit already, or else you compete the profit right now. That is a of i minus min price. So current price minus minimum price would give, give you the max profit. So here you can solve this approach using the uh, of n approach. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you within uh, more tutorials with you. Thank you.